Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can create a birthday filter like this with a party hat, some text and also an emitter with confettis in the background. So let's start! Hey again, so let's create this birthday filter here in the Spark AR Studio. The first thing we will do is to add a party hat here to the filter. For this we need a 3D model, but yeah, don't worry, you don't have to create a 3D model on your own. You just have to go to the Spark AR library and yeah, search there for one. So for this we go to the left hand side and click on the asset library. Here we click on the 3D object section and here we search for party hat. So then you have a collection of different party hats. Just yeah, select one and then when you have chosen one just click on import free. So after the download is done you can close the Spark AR asset library and then you will find your party hat here on the left hand side under the assets. Then just drag and drop the 3D model in your scene and yeah it will appear here um, yeah, yeah, on your screen, but at the moment it is a little bit big and it, is, it isn't following our head. So let's change this. For this we have to go to our scene and we have to create a face tracker. For this just click on the little plus at the scene and here search for face tracker and insert it. So after you have inserted the face tracker you have to drag and drop your 3D model in your scene to the face tracker. When you have done this, the party coon, the party head is following the head movement, not exactly the head, but yeah, let's change this. Let's change first the scale of the party head. So for this, we have to select our party head in the scene and then go to the right hand side. And here under transformations, we have to play around with the values. I will set everything to 0.5 first but it is still too big so let's try 0 0.1 so it, yes this is a much better um, size but now it is in the middle of my face but I want it here on my head so for this I zoom in in my viewport and then I will pause my video so for this go to the left hand side and click on pause and then we have plenty of time and to yeah to drag around our party hat here in the viewport. When you have done it, click on play and yeah. Now you see that the face isn't covering the head and it doesn't look real. So to, to change this, we need a head occluder and we can also find a head occluder here in the Spark AR asset library. So again, go to the left hand side, click on asset library and here search for occluder. Then you will find this under blocks, the head occluder, Spark AR asset. Just click on it and again click here on import free. After the download is done, you will also find this here in the assets handle. And here under blocks, then just drag and drop the head occluder into your scene. Now you can see that the head occluder is this outlined blue thing here in the viewport, but it doesn't seem right at the moment because the yeah, Kuhn is visible all the time and you can see everything of the Kuhn. This is because the head occluder is underneath the face tracker. So to change this, you just have to drag and drop the head occluder above the face tracker. And now you can see that the party head is disappearing when you tilt your head. And yeah, now you can also change the position of the party head that it fits the head perfectly. So just, yeah. A little bit up and also just change the rotation a bit so now it looks pretty good I think so yeah just play around with this and then you will find the perfect placement for your head so yeah get a little bit down and also rotate it to the back here so and now it looks Pretty nice. So now we have our party hat. The next thing is that we want to display here a message. I will just use happy birthday for this, but you can do any other text. I will just import a picture, a PNG picture, so you can design 
um, the text and everything around it in Photoshop, Sketch, Canva or any other program you feel comfortable with. So just go to your assets panel, click on the little plus and then here go to import and here from computer. Then just search for your PNG you want to add, click on it and click on open. So after the PNG is important, imported, it is important to set the compression to none. So just select your PNG file, go to the right hand side and set here the compression to none. So when this is done, we can create a plane in our scene here. So for this, we go to our scene, click on the plus and here search for plane. So when the plane is um, created, you can find it in your scene. At the moment, the occluder is also also affecting the plane, but we will change this later. So the first step we have to do now is to create a material. So just create a new material. I will call this material text. Then select the material, go to the right hand side, set the shader type to flat and select as a texture the text texture we have just yeah imported. So now we can attach our material to our plane. For this we go to the scene, click on the plane, go to the right hand side and here click on the little plus next to materials and select the text material. And now we can see the happy birthday text. So that the happy birthday is all, always in front of the head. We have to go to our material we have just created, select it, go to the right, right hand side, open the advanced render options and deselect use dev dust and write to dev. So and now the head occluder isn't affecting the text anymore. At the moment the text is pretty small so we have to change this when you want. You can leave it like that for sure but yeah I will get it a little bit down and also make it bigger. So for this I will select my plane with the text then select the yeah, moving tool and then move the text a little bit down. Also, I will set the scale of the plane to from one to let's say two and now it is a little bit bigger. So the last thing we want to do for this celebration, happy birthday filter, birthday filter, however you want to call it, is that I want to have some confettis that are raining behind the user here. So to achieve this, we have to create a, uh, yeah, a segmentation of the person first. To do this, we have to go to the scene and then have to extract the, um, two textures from our camera object. So go to the scene, select the camera, go to the right hand side and here you can find texture extract extraction. Just click on the plus and then you will find the camera texture in your assets panel under textures. So the next um, texture we have to extract is our segmentation texture. So for this go again to the right hand side and click on the little plus next to segmentation. And here we have to select person. When we have done this we can create our material for the segmentation. So for this again go to the assets panel, click on the plus and create a new material. I will call this material person. So when the person material is selected go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Then go down to the shader properties and for the texture we select our camera texture 0. Then we activate the alpha option here and here for the texture we select our segmentation mask texture. When we have done this we have to create a rectangle object in our scene for the segmentation mask. So for this we go to the scene, click on the plus and here we search for rectangle. So now you can find the rectangle on the left upper corner but now we want to stretch it so that it fills the whole screen. So for this select the rectangle, go to the right hand side and then click just here at width in the box where it says 100 and then select fill width. Then also do the same for the height. When we have done this we can get, go down to materials and here we can select our person material. So and now the person is segmented. You can't see it right now but you can see that there are some strange things are going on. The body head is appearing and disappearing and here this thing also is 
appearing and disappearing yeah to get rid of this weird effect we have to go down to our materials to our person material then go to the right hand side and here in the advanced render options we also deselect use dev test and write to dev so but now the text is completely gone because we have to keep in mind the layers of our scene at the moment the canvas object where the rectangle object is in is um, all the way down but it has to be all the way up so yeah just drag and drop it um, above the head occluder and when you have done this everything is back to normal and we can work on our confettis in the background to create confettis we have to create a particle system first so for this we go to our scene click on the plus again and here search for particle system then we just yeah, insert the particle system and we can already see some particles emitting here at the moment i have the particle system here um, yeah, nested in the canvas object i don't want this i want it as a standalone object so i just drag and drop it um, yeah all the way down underneath the plane at the moment it will be in front of everything but yeah in the end we want it in the back so just for testing purposes we will have it here um yeah you can see that the head occluder is something yeah sometimes doing yeah stuff that this disappears um when you want to create the emitter it is some kind of annoying so we go to the head occluder in the scene and then we just set the visible yeah set the visibility off so we can work on our um, emitter now so again go back to your emitter just click on it and then we can go to the right hand side here and yeah just do some settings at first i want to stretch the emitter to the whole width of the screen so for this i set the emitter type from point to line and then i set the length of the emitter to let's say 0.3 that it covers the whole width so the next thing is because we have gravity on earth that the confetti should go down and not up so we change the rotation of our emitter the rotation of the x-axis from 0 to 180 so and now the emitter is emitting downwards so the next thing is that we can move the emitter up so it is on the edge of the screen and it starts from the top next thing is that the confetti should last longer so we go to our emitter properties and, and here under particle we set the lifespan of our particles from 0.4 to let's say five seconds and now they should go all the way down at the moment they are pretty much of the of the emitters so we go to our emitter settings and here we set the birth rate to let's say 10. also the, uh, the particles are pretty fast for confettis so let's say let's set the speed from 0.2 to 0.1 and now they are much slower but yeah let's set the birth rate down to five at the moment the particles are gray but we want to do them in some color for this go to your assets panel and create a new material yeah, i will say this is the material red here for the shader type i will i will set it not to flat i will set it to physically based so it, it looks more real and for the color i will set it to let's say an yeah orange reddish color so i hit okay and then here for the metallic yeah, i just will do set some some values but i can change them later so the next step is that we go to our back back to our emitter and set the material to the material we have just created so scroll all the way down click on the plus next to materials and set it to the material we have just created so at the moment the uh, um, yeah confetti isn't looking real they are not moving there are just some squares who are which are falling down so to to change this we have to um, play around here with our angular velocity and rotation to access this we have to um, yeah turn off the billboarding and then we have here the order yeah, values to set but when we do this the 
their particles are disappearing. To get them back, we go to the left hand side again to our material we have just created, to our red material, which is attached to the confettis. Click on it and then we go to the right hand side and under render options, we activate double sided and then the confettis are back. So again, back to the emitter and here we can set the yeah, angular velocity x to, five, to 50, also y to 50 and set also to 50. And now you can see the particles are yeah, falling down. Now you can just play around with the particle systems, um, with the particle settings and also yeah, with the velocity and also with the birth rate, with the spray angel and everything else. I just will set the um, scale here. The scale 0 0.01 is good, but here the percentage that it varies a little bit so it looks more real. I will set this to let's say 50% and now they are much bigger and also much smaller confettis but yeah the big ones are too big let's set the scale to 0 0.07 i think it's a great value but i said you can always play around with those so now the yeah the confettis doesn't look that good so i go back to my material and here just play around with my parameters of the metallic and also the roughness and also the light is affecting the um, confettis so you can go to your scene to the directional light and to the ambient light and here you can also increase the light settings but also the party head will be affected by that so yeah it's going to be a little bit brighter maybe we can also play around here with the with the color and i think that looks pretty good now so the last step is to get the confettis behind the user so for this we go to our scene click on the emitter and then we and then we drag and drop it upon our canvas object and now when we have done this the confetti should be yeah behind the user but they are yeah, doing some weird things here at the party coon and also we have to get back our head occluder for this just click on the head occluder in the scene and then activate the visibility so the last thing i will do is that i go to the, my material to my red material go all the way down again to the advanced render settings and here deselect use dev test and write to dev so and now everything should be right and you can play around with the text, with the cune, with the party head, with the emitter, with the particles to get the filter you want. So yeah, I will just go to, to the emitter again and set the birth rate maybe to let's say 8 that there are more confettis in the background and also set the angular velocity to 100 on every axis and that looks really good to me i hope i could help you with this video to create your own happy birthday filter for your friends or uh, other celebration filter just you can change the text you can do another hat or just yeah play around with the particles if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new on this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye